ever pondered the real magic behind a super successful manga? What if I told you there's a timeless debate, a clash between two essential forces, art and storytelling, that shapes every manga's destiny? In this video, we're diving deep into the core of manga creation and exploring a burning question. Which holds the key to crafting an unforgettable manga? And which presents the greater challenge? By the end of this video, you'll gain a perspective on the art versus storytelling debate that could profoundly shape how you view each of these required skills in creating visual stories. And there will be revelations that could completely redefine how you approach creating your own works. Let's get into it. We start with the first side of the debate, the importance of art argument. On one side of this discussion are these folks who wholeheartedly champion the idea that art reigns supreme in manga. And they'll tell you that without jaw-dropping visuals, a manga probably won't be successful. For these manga creators, visuals are pivotal. They argue that manga fundamentally relies on its visual appeal to draw readers in. If the art doesn't engage them, they might not even bother with the story. They focus on the pursuit of artistic mastery. They admire manga artists like Hirohiko Araki, Inoue Takehiko, and Kentaro Miura, who elevated themselves to the status of masterful artists in addition to being the storytellers that we all know and love. To these creators, it's not just about spinning narratives. It's about creating art. And in creating that art, Every panel is an opportunity to display artistic skill. Paneling, composition, and visual techniques are approached with the goal of creating visually striking artwork, elevating storytelling to an art form. A significant argument that they make is that manga as a visual medium relies heavily on art to convey emotions, moods, and world building. And this is an argument that's quite difficult to dispute. Unlike traditional novels where words paint the pictures, manga employs art to engage readers on a visual level. And this becomes even more true where in the crowded fields of manga, webtoon, and comics, strong visuals are crucial in this crowded marketplace. Now, the other side of this debate are storytellers and writers. They may be artists as well, but they argue that even with simplistic or less detailed artwork, a captivating narrative can carry a manga to success. For them, it's the narrative arc, character development, interactions, and plot twists that truly make a manga legendary. Characterization in particular is crucial for this side of the debate. They believe that well-rounded, relatable characters are the key to reader engagement. The journey and growth of these characters over the course of the story form the emotional core of the manga. Another aspect the manga writers highlight is the use of literary techniques. They argue that the effective use of world building, foreshadowing, symbolism, and other literary devices can elevate a manga's storytelling to a place that keeps an audience hooked. A well-crafted plot that keeps readers guessing and emotionally infested is seen as the hallmark of a successful manga. It's no surprise that this side of the debate also believes that a well-constructed story can overcome limitations in art. While visually striking art can grab initial attention, they feel that it's the storytelling that keeps the readers turning pages eagerly anticipating the next plot development or character revelation. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking about what side you lean more towards based on your own experiences. And maybe there are parts of each side that you feel have merits. Well, let's dive even deeper because we're just getting started with the real meat of this debate and a perspective that might just redefine your current position on whether art or storytelling is more important in making manga. If you've been on the fence or felt torn between art and storytelling, believe me, you are not alone. There is an insane amount of pressure within the indie manga community to be an exceptional artist before trying to publish your work. In fact, there's so much emphasis on drawing in this community, it's incredibly hard to find anyone talking about writing and storytelling techniques specifically for manga, webtoon, and comic creators. Which leads to my views on this debate. Great art and storytelling are both exceptionally important to creating a good manga. But a manga is nothing without an engaging and convincing story. So to better understand where I stand on this, what do I mean by story? When I say story, I'm talking about the characters, the narrative arcs, the settings, the plot. These are the things that I believe make up the story, just as paneling, lettering, ink work, and tones make up the art side of manga. You see, I believe that these storytelling features 
have way more potential to appeal to the audience's emotions in a way that makes them really care about the characters that you've created and the journey that they embark on. Where the art is something that may initially hook a reader, what keeps them invested in your world? Imagine if you could perfectly replicate the artwork of your favorite mangaka. Let's say Inoue, since he's my favorite. Does that automatically mean I could create any story and it will be just as successful as Slam Dunk because I draw identically to Inoue? I don't think so. Because even though the artwork in Slam Dunk is nothing short of amazing, the reason why it's one of the most influential manga of all time is because Inoue told an incredibly impactful story of an aimless delinquent who found purpose in meeting against all odds in the sport of basketball. People connected with that purpose. It touched them. They placed themselves in Hanamichi Sakuragi's nearly stolen Air Jordan 6s and deeply empathized with his struggle and determination, and maybe a bit of his stupidity too. Or maybe they really wanted to play basketball, but were told they were too short. Miyagi Ryota was one of the top point guards in his region at just 5'6". There's a character I can place myself in and empathize with their struggles and their fears. That level of emotional appeal can be felt in just talking about Slam Dunk. I mean, you don't even have to be looking at the artwork in the manga to get that feeling. And that's why I think that writing has a greater impact than art in manga. Aspiring mangaka, including myself, rightfully focus on improving our artistic abilities as much as we can. But we must remember that the artwork we're working so hard to perfect is a vessel for telling a story. A story that we hope will pull an audience in and bring them into a world that we've meticulously crafted. So as much as we talk about and value art, I think we should do the same thing for writing and storytelling. And there you have it. The art versus storytelling debate in manga explored from three different angles. I hope this discussion has left you with some valuable insights to ponder. Remember, there's no one size fits all to this debate, and I think that that's kind of the beauty of it. We're all in on this creative journey together, and we're constantly learning and growing and perhaps changing our opinions with each page that we create. So of course, I want to know, what do you think? What resonated with you? Do you lean more towards the artistic side, or are you on the storytelling camp? Or maybe you're somewhere in between. I'd really love it if you shared your perspectives in the comments because I really want to keep exploring this topic. I think it's a hot button issue and we all have different views on it. Thanks so much for watching. Your support means the world to me and I'm excited to continue diving into art and storytelling with all of you. Keep creating, keep the dialogue alive. Until next time, bye.